Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at what it means when you see an option for art optimized in Illustrator. Before we start the video, you can find additional training of mine in Illustrator at Udemy. In the description below are coupon links for all of my courses. I also have classes at Skillshare and the coupon in the description below includes an offer at least as good as the current Skillshare offer. Mine's generally better. If you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 200 of mine covering Illustrator, Photoshop, Lightroom and Procreate. And now back to Illustrator. I have a sample document here. It's just a black circle and a piece of text and I've done nothing to the text, but type it into the document. Now this is not the document at its regular full size. So let's go to view and let's see actual size. So this is the actual size in terms of pixels. It's only 263 pixels wide. But inside Illustrator, it looks really, really good. And Illustrator's got some really good smoothing on this font. Now we're not going to see that same smoothing when we come to save this document, for example, for the web. So if I choose File and then Export and Save for Web Legacy, we're going to have an option for the Art Optimized. So we can have None, Art Optimized or Type Optimized. And if I want to save this document at my 263 pixels wide, then I'm going to need to make a choice here and the choice I make is going to have a really big impact on what this document actually looks like. So I'm not actually going to save it because I've already done that. So let me just cancel out of that and let's have a look at the resulting file. So we're going to have a look and see what happens if you chose none. Well, this is of course much larger than the original document, but have a look at the text. The fact that I've chosen no optimization means that I've got just ragged pixels around the edge. And the closer I go in, you'll see that there's no gray pixels here. Everything is just either black or white. And that's what none means. And that is typically the option that you do not want to use under any circumstances at all, because it looks absolutely awful. Even taken down to pretty much the size of the original document, even smaller, it's just not coming out. It's not cutting it. It looks absolutely terrible. Of the other two options, it doesn't really matter too much. So this is the Art Optimized option. And inside here, you'll see that we've got some gray pixels around the edge. That's what optimization is. Illustrate it's putting some gray and lighter gray pixels around the edge to sort of smooth it off. So when we look at it at about the size that it was developed for, something like this, it looks really good. It looks way, way better than this one does. And so Art Optimized is giving us that result. Now the other option was Type Optimized and there is a little bit of difference here, but it's not really that visible. The difference is in how the edges are treated. So if I go in here and have a look at, for example, the top of the letter H, and if we go into this one and have a look at the top of the letter H, there is a very slight difference in how the anti-aliasing, this sort of gray element that makes it look smoother is actually being treated. Now, if I had a document full of type, then I would be choosing type optimized because you're still getting your shapes optimized. It's just that perhaps you're getting a slightly better result for any type elements in your document. But if you've got a mix of shape and text, or for example, if you only have shape, then you're not going to be disadvantaged in any way by choosing the art optimized option. So those are the explanation of what's happening. Optimization is adding these grayer pixels around the edge, which gives the result of a smoother looking element. And that's going to be consistent across all applications. Any time somebody talks about anti-aliasing, this is what anti-aliasing is. It's smoothing the edges by visibly packing the edges with different color pixels. In this case, because we're working with black, it's shades of gray. If it was red, it would be different tones of red. The one you want to avoid in pretty much every circumstance is none because you're going to get really jagged edges. I hope this has helped you understand the concepts of anti-aliasing and also those art optimized and text optimized options inside the dialogues inside Illustrator. Now you're going to see these in other dialogues as well. The question came to me how it would be used in the Save for Web Legacy dialogue, but the same concept is going to apply across other dialogues too. 
I hope that this video has been of help to you. If it was, give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. You know what to do to make sure that you see new videos as they're released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.